Welcome to Great Talk and Entertainment. I'm your host, KJ, and this is the podcast where we're talking about comic books, TV shows, and movies, and I review them all. Plus, plus, we got some more entertaining stuff on this show on Great Talk and Entertainment. They can catch on YouTube, so just type in Great Talk and Entertainment on YouTube, and you'll see some awesome stuff. And we, like I said, we review movies, TV shows, and much, much more like comic books and much other things. So be on the lookout for some more stuff. And thank you, thank you guys for subscribing, liking, uh, sharing to your friends and family. Just thank you so much for all that. So as I say again, I am reviewing the new Disney Plus show called Marvel What If. And this is episode five. Now, before we get into this, this is a spoiler alert, so I will be spoiling the whole show, the whole series, as I have been continuing through episode four. So, like I said, this is episode five, and this is Marvel's What If Zombie Edition. So, this episode is about what if your favorite Marvel character being zombies, and of course, some of your characters are not zombies, but many, many of your favorite are. So, here's the plot and here's the idea. So, the plot is Vision is feeding humans to Wanda because they love each other. And just like you see in WandaVision how Wanda was griefing over Vision for obvious reasons and good reasons, but... She was willing to do whatever it takes to bring him back alive. And Vision is doing the same thing. Now, the, um, another plot that, that's in uh, this show that I forgot to mention first, but that's okay. Now, the first story of this episode is uh, it's called... I'm a, I know I'll, I might butcher, butcher it, but I apologize in advance. Quantum Virus. So... A quantum virus is basically in this uh, episode is that Hank Pimp's wife slash Hope, who's the wasp, is mother, who is obviously stuck in the quantum realm, the quantum realm. And in this one, it's like she finds like a zombie virus, but they call it a quantum virus. Now... They didn't really explain how or where that would exist in the quantum realm and why did it turn people zombies? They never really answered that, but obviously Hank Pimp and his wife come back, shrink up, and they eat, you know, Ant Man, which we find out later the Ant Man, Scott Lang, who is just headless like and a and he's still alive. Yes, he's headless and he's still alive. Think of uh, the TV show Futurama. Now, you know, a lot of the old historical or just anybody in celebrity was headless in Futurama. Futurama. Just like that. And that's how uh, Ant-Man is in this. So, however he did that, Vision got him to be alive but have his head in a jar and Vision claimed, said, well, not claimed, but did say that it was in the uh, Soul Stone. So there's that plot. Another thing in this show, this talks about how they kind of do um, zombie land type feel with uh, Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man, of course. He's doing a video of, like, how to survive the zombies and whatnot. And now, let me explain about the characters who are alive that I have mentioned and haven't mentioned yet. So one, Spider-Man. Two, Ant-Man. Uh, the Hulk slash Bruce Banner. Hope Van Dyke, aka the Wasp. Kurt from the uh, Ant-Man. He's one of the sidekicks that worked with uh, T.I. basically. Uh, Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier. Sharon Carter. Black Panther, aka T'Challa. And Happy Hogan, if you, uh, he's the assistant, the bodyguard of Tony Stark, slash the best friend of him, of course. And he's now 
the mentor, uh, one of the mentors, I should say, for Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man. So, that's Happy Hogan. Another one that they mention is, uh, for the zombie characters, you have Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Captain America, Falcon the Winter Soldier, a.k.a. Sam, a.k.a. the new Captain America, and then Wanda, of course, is a, is a zombie. Now, most of the characters who are alive do become zombies, which I'm just going to name, not really name them off. But in this episode, it's basically a zombie apocalypse that's caused by Hank Pimp and uh, Ant-Man and Hope. Uh, they all, you know, they're just trying to get to the quantum realm just like they have in the cinematic universe, which I know this show is canon to it, but just to give you an idea. So, before I get any deeper as well, these this show kind of contains, well, not kind of, but does contain scenes from Ant-Man and the Wasp Girl. Uh, and then, of course, Avengers Endgame. Just the way um, how this show starts is just like Bruce Banner, a.k.a. the Hulk, was sent down from where Thor was at on the ship to Earth to warn people about Thanos. Same thing, but instead of him running to back to Earth saying, hey guys, Thanos is coming. Well, he just realized his whole Earth, oh, the planet Earth basically is zombie. There's a zombie apocalypse, and he's trying to figure out why, which he does. So now you have the two main plots. And you're asking, how is Wanda, uh, Vision feeding uh, humans to Wanda is a separate plot? Well, the reason why I think it's that is because one, a lot of, the, a lot of these shows have multiple what ifs in one episode. Uh, you, we can, de- and they're debatable, of course, and a lot of people have come up with many, many, many theories of what that may be, which is, I, I don't really know if they're all going to be like that, but it mostly are kind of like multiple what ifs, and you could break each episode down like this for so here's an example of why I said that is yeah vision is not really caring about the world he's caring about Wanda he's caring about himself he's not trying to save the world he's just trying to keep Wanda alive keeps her in like some type of jail like a giant glass cube which I know it's not glass fully but it's enough to keep Wanda and her powers being used or she can't use her powers to get out so Vision's got her locked up and he's doing it for his own selfish reasons to some people of course and then like the other plot is just how Hank Pimp is was trying to get his wife back from the quantum realm which which is like one of the reasons he was kind of doing that. Not kind of, but he had the same motive of why he did. He tried to get revenge on the shield in the last episode. Well, not the last episode, but uh, I think it was episode three where they did like, what if the Avengers never got assembled together, basically? So that's twice, really. They kind of use them. Which is fine, I don't care, but I feel like they're a big part of the show for a reason, and I just don't know what, but there could be many, many theories and what-ifs of why. And plus many other characters, of course. But in this one, it's kind of like, you know, Hank Pym, he just had a motive, uh, and this one was like more of, like, man, you know, he never thought about the fact that his wife could be different. And, you know, in, in the movie Ant-Man the Wasp, they they find her, and she's, she's fine. She's normal. But it's more like, okay. But this one's more like, what if she was a zombie? And this changes the whole plot. But my point of this is, you know, one of the clues I'm noticing is that Hank Pimp is been in the two episodes and I feel like he's a important part key 
character of this whole season of season one of what if that's continuing right now and i feel like in the quantum realm that they haven't really touched upon right now and i know right now in the phase they're talking about the multiverse and this is a very interesting show and theory of what if that happened and i feel like this is just a small taste and this is what i mean why i think he's a big uh key a puzzle piece to this whole cinematic universe is that in the quantum realm I believe that it's the same as the multiverse. It's just another door to get in. But the one thing that I feel the quantum realm is going to bring to the table that the multiverse won't is that in, in the quantum realm, there's things that exist like creatures, monsters, or whatever, right? And... If there is a virus down there that could cause the world to have a zombie apocalypse, then just imagine what it other virus is like. I think the quantum realm is going to be the one that's going to explore, you know, vampires, werewolves, creatures or characters were mentioned in the Loki series. So I think, I think the quantum realm is going to have such a unique difference between the multiverse which I'm not 100% sure what it would be but I think this is just a taste of what the quantum realm has to offer that uh, Marvel's gonna be exploring in future films and of course TV shows and hopefully season 2 of Marvel's What If so that's why I think he's a big key and in this episode they just show like even your favorite Marvel characters who turn into zombies, now they still remember their moves. Like, a zombie Iron Man, oh, he still knows how to shoot. A zombie Doctor Strange, oh, he still knows how to use the magic. And, of course, like a, a, a zombie Captain America, yeah, he knows how to use that shield to block things and use it. So, this is a, a big twist. Now, a lot of people are lot of ref like to um bring up uh when marvel was doing um marvel zombie comic books which they're great they're not there's nothing on this sh episode that to me personally and i don't think it was a lot of it don't come a lot of their inspir inspiration don't come from the the comic books series of marvel characters being zombies a whole different plot and a whole different reason how they became zombies but uh, not not really no inspiration from that comic book that really appeared in this episode so not really I don't think so I think there's it's, it's a different plot a different twist and the way they did the Marvel zombies this was I would say a little bit lighter the one the the Marvel zombie comic books by Marvel Comics they're a little bit darker and grittier I forget who who wrote them but he does a lot of like Deadpool a more a serious uh a more adult young teen type comic books those majority uh audience but not really this is a more lighter version of Marvel zombies but obviously it's because it's the Disney on Disney plus but um, still a great episode not another less and then of course in this episode they showed you know the you know their our favorite Marvel characters who were weren't zombies yet you know made the ultimate sacrifice like they always do and you know the one thing I did like is how Peter Parker in this one he mentioned Uncle Ben and that's crazy they haven't mentioned Uncle Ben in the uh, Marvel uh, Studios version of P uh, Spider-Man with uh, Tom Holland not really they, never, they, never, they had his initials on the uh, suitcase in uh, Spider-Man um, Far From Home but never really a uh, 
they never really talked about is how Uncle Ben died, but in this one they talk about Uncle Ben. And of course he talks about you know Tony Stark and more and I really and another thing I really enjoyed the uh relationship between uh Spider-Man and Hope. Um you know at first I would say about a couple seconds I thought is this like a romance thing? But then I I I was like no they wouldn't because that that they wouldn't they wouldn't I don't think Marvel Studios would do that because if they did that I think then they would expect something like that happen in the live action so they kind of for a couple of seconds I thought that and then I really when they really got more in depth in between the relationship between Hope and Spider-Man I was like oh so it's more like he's like a mother she's like a mother to Peter Parker in this which that makes more sense um, I would love to see that. Like, I know I know Spider Man still has Aunt May, but in the in the movie with like Tom Holland, she's not really. She's parenting him, of course, but they don't really have the mother son type relationship. They keep it pretty much uh, like an adopted or. Tom Holland knows that that's just Aunt May not you know that's my mom type thing now in an amazing Spider-Man and of course the Sam Raimi one those Aunt Mays were like a mother and had that grandma feel to Peter Parker in those movies so yeah I get it but in this one they don't really in this one with Tom Holland, of course, they don't have that type of dynam- dynamic duo with it. So I would definitely love to see that type of where Hope is kind of like a mother figure, like mothers him, like saying, oh, you know what? Give him good advice. Keep his head straight. You know, encourage him in a soft type of kind, nurturing way. And I would love to see, like I said, I would love to see that. I think that would totally work with the Tom Holland uh, Spider-Man, and I think it would, it would, it be, it would be more refreshing. It would be new. That type of duo has not been happened yet, as far as Spider-Man interacting with another Avenger. And I'm, and I'm talking about. Uh, you know, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, those never, those type of Spider-Man movies, they never had and uh, another Marvel character or an Avengers character like that interact with them, so uh, of course, they're, that's always the plus of that, but I can, that, that would really broaden, give this uh, Peter Parker slash Spider-Man that's played by Tom Holland Holland, uh, a more refreshing way to view Spider-Man, and especially in comic books too. This would this would be really cool to see, and I just hope that uh, people who enjoyed that, I hope they will go on the internet and beg Kevin Feige for stuff like that, and I hope that inspires like any director and producers for the next Marvel Studio films to want to aim for something like that with uh, Spider-Man so I'm down for that I, another thing I really liked is this one had Chad Bo- Boswick's um, recording before he passed away so I really really enjoyed that and again just man it's just it's nice to really enjoy uh, Marvel's What If knowing that they have Chad Boswick on there and because you know obviously he's not going to be any more for future films for obvious reasons but it's really nice to you know have it have him on there and hear his voice a little bit more anytime we want to you know of course so that's really cool. uh, another thing i really liked about this is i know to only really like this episode i know like it got battery it got like a low it got a 5 from IGN 
like if I think it's like one out of a thousand or one out of ten, like I do, but they gave it a five, nevertheless. But I'm somebody who's a fan of zombie movies or just a, a good zombie show like The Walking Dead and so forth. But that's why I like it. So if you're a true, if you're a fan of zombie movies and zombie shows, then oh yeah, definitely check out uh, Marvel's What If. Like this is what. This is really good zombie show or episode to be honest. So I hope they do more and I'm so glad they did that. Um uh extra things that showed up. Uh obviously a zombie Thanos. That's crazy. Uh I I think I think that would that's a scary thing. That ooh. See and, and I have a theory that I th- I don't think they're really done with the character Thanos. I think I think they're going to bring Thanos back in the live action sooner or later. I just think they're not really done with it. But I'm so glad they're still using Thanos. And obviously, just be having, since Disney Plus is around, Marvel Studios could still do like these shorts and uh, Marvel What If episodes and use Thanos and still kind of have him still existing without him really appearing in the live action which I highly doubt they won't bring him back in a live action like I just there's so much with that character you can do this 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 is a great episode they obviously there was so much unanswered questions and I really wish they obviously explain the uh, quantum virus like why and where does it come from and they never really explain I wish they would explain it more but I once again I can always we can always debate that they could answer it in a future a future movie or show or maybe season two of Marvel's what if but who knows but other than that I just oh it's so annoying I wish they just explain it so that's all right I can, I can move on from that so Let's get into some some three theories that I I I want to talk about and I think it could be true but they might not ever come true. So once again guys, these are just theories. Don't take them so serious. But these are also things I kind of would hope to see if they go this way. So, theory 1 is what if the next Ant-Man movie, Crompton Realm explores that virus. Well, if I made a theory saying, okay, if they're not going to explain the origin of what, how the, does that exist, then I think in the uh, upcoming uh, uh, Quantumania, which is going to have Ant-Man, the Wasp Girl, and uh, other uh, characters from that move, those two movie series, of course, Will appear. I I hope I think in theory that if they were gonna explore that, I think this would be the movie. Like I think this would be an opportunity for the movie to uh, to go that like the name Quantumania. It sounds silly. It sounds outrageous. So I feel like this is a movie that's gonna be outrageous. That's gonna push the envelope of to to the limits of what we never expect Marvel Studios to do and you know like I said I think the quantum realm and the multiverse throughout this whole series and the cinematic universe I think they're both are going to have such huge uh, individually unique style and unique taste of how things are going to appear through the multiverse or the quantum realm yes I believe that they're both are connected and they're the same thing like the multiverse is the quantum realm the quantum realm is the multiverse but I think they're just two different doors and what I think I truly believe I think like I think they will do a live action uh, Marvel zombie I think they're at the point where that's a possibility 
So I wouldn't be surprised if they have a few Marvel characters turn into zombies in this uh, show. And it, well, instead of Spider Man, it'd be like Ant Man getting chased by them, like a a zombie Captain America, or maybe a zombie Spider Man. Who knows? Like it's the quantum realm. Like one of them could. I don't know. I just think in theory that I believe uh, more of this uh, theory, of course, is I just believe that there that quantum virus is going to exist in the live action and we'll see it do some stuff within the uh, next uh, quantum uh, mania movie that will have Ant-Man and the Wasp Girl. So I'm down for that. Uh, theory two, what if the zombie Thanos what if he had the gauntlet to have more flesh to eat so in my theory of me saying that is I believe in theory that if they were going to continue this zombie thing I think that if he's zombie like if he's a zombie and these zombies do eat humans which they do in this episode I believe that maybe a, a zombie Thanos snaps for more humans more flesh to eat and he's gonna be like um you know I uh <laughs> the uh what's the oh shoot I forgot what's the movie what's the movie what's the movie called uh like Zombieland I, I think it's gonna be more like Zombieland but I think I, I think zombie Thanos would Zombie Thanos would rule the world with zombies and just have the gauntlet, just have enough flesh to feed the population. And I think he's going to convert more Earth's more multiverse to the zombie life of like Thanos does. If Zombie Thanos were, were to continue, if they were to continue that episode of uh, Marvel Zombies, I think that's what Th Zombie uh, Thanos would do, was just snap for more flesh and rule the world, world Earth, world, you know, dominate other planets and turn into zombies and be the leader, the king, whatever. Just, I think that's what Zombie Thanos would do. Uh, theory three, what if Captain uh, Marvel saves the day? I had a theory that if they were going to continue this, even in like they did like a season two or whatever, I believe Captain Marvel would be the one to stop all the zombies, stop zombie Thanos, and turn everybody back or just save the day in some type of way. That's, that's one of my theories, and I could see that actually happening. I think, you know, that's... Marvel Studios is, is not backing down and not going to be scared away from the critics of how they feel about the Captain Marvel movie starring Brie Larson and I think they're just they're they're standing up and they're going to keep pushing that character and have that character more on shows and movies of course and I just believe that Captain Marvel will be the one to save the day at the end of that if they would continue the uh, Marvel zombie episode so that's one of my theories um, tell me guys what you think about those leave a comment Thank you guys for watching. Um, before I go, I just want to say I give this episode 1 out of 10. I give it a 10 just because it's so great and I really enjoy it. So, like I guess, like I said, guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, giving me the thumbs up. If you know somebody who likes podcasts, if you know somebody who likes about superhero movies to tv shows to comic books somebody who's a fan of marvel comics and dc comics tell them to go check out great talk and entertainment on youtube and if you haven't yet please subscribe hit that notification button to always be up to date for some new